All right, team up here. We're off the side of the road, as you can see. And I spotted something right up here in the woods. Check this out. I believe what some people call these cauliflower mushrooms. Uh, I'm going to make sure before I do anything with them because I've never ate them before. And, but I'm going to harvest these mushrooms and see if we can't identify them and maybe cook them up. We've had some really cool weather for August. So I, these uh, fall mushrooms are sprouting right now. Probably just for a couple days while it's cool. But this is a north facing slope. So I was just driving through here taking my daughter to the bus stop and saw all those mushrooms drop side of the road. Uh, so I'm just going to take advantage of it. Roadside fodder right there. But now I'm driving a little slower through here. I've seen those going pretty fast. Who knows what's going to pop up now. It could be end of the woods popping up soon. Chicken of the woods. Pretty good eating. Hey guys, this is T Mac, Wild Fit Outdoors. And like the video I just showed you, I was driving down the road and I seen some mushrooms sticking up. And they looked an awful lot like Hint of the Woods. But they was a little bit different, so I was checking them out and it turns out they're cauliflower uh, mushrooms or Sparasis crispa, <laughs> I guess is the technical name for them. But as you can tell, they're pretty nice looking mushrooms. This one here I broke in half already because it was growing around a stick. And so it had quite a bit of debris in it. This one here, not so much. Man, that thing was perfect. Nothing in it. It was growing right next to a piece of the bark. Uh, so got a couple good mushrooms here. I'm going to try them out for the first time. Like I told you in my other mushroom videos, I, I've only been shrooming for a few years and I'm still learning and I always want to make sure that I know what I'm dealing with uh, a lot of times I've heard a, a good rule of thumb is if it grows on an oak it's okay but I'm not gonna say that's concrete okay on every one of them there's so many different types of mushrooms and people have different names for them like I've said in my other videos that you just really want to do your homework and don't don't take my word for it check for yourself but uh, I'm gonna take some of this and probably stir fry it of course I want to wash it real good wash it tear it apart I want to tear every one of these apart like this and get something I can work with like that wash it and wash it soak it rinse it and get all the debris out the big debris and these grow like I said under oak trees and then some places they grow under conifer trees pine trees whatever and uh, I guess it depends on how far west you go how they grow uh, eastern ones from western I can't remember if the eastern ones are pine and the western ones anyway I'm right in the middle of the country and it was growing under a white oak tree so uh, I'm going to try them out. I've heard good things about them. I've been reading up on them. And I guess if I live after I eat them, we'll know they're good. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, dehydrated the mushrooms up. I'm talking kind of quiet because Jen's asleep. Uh, in the sun oven, I dehydrated them. And man, do they smell good. Man, they smell mushroomy, earthy. It's kind of like the uh, hen of the woods, chicken of the woods kind of flavor. Only, I don't know, they're pretty good. Uh, but I, what I would do with these is crumble them up and kind of add them to maybe like 
deer noodles to give it like a mushroomy, bold, just robust flavor. Uh, and it wouldn't take much. Man, it does not take much of these wild mushrooms to give it that flavor. Trust me. You can overdo it with these wild mushrooms. I've done it. You can do it. So, this right here, I might crush this up and put it in like a seasoning. Maybe something that you buy for minced onions. Just sprinkle it in your uh, deer and noodles, man. And that'd make a great flavor. But I'm going to fry a couple. Pretty good. Kind of has a morale flavor. Mm. Don't take much either. Pretty good eating. Remember, be sure you 100% identify any mushroom you go out looking for. Don't take my word for it. I'm not an expert. Until next time, this is T Mac. Love you all. God bless. I'll see you later. The Eco Survivor Lantern by Jasco Products. Stand up to the elements. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.